So hi and welcome to this new tutorial in our series. Um, in this video we will implement shooting into our game. So right now when we run this we still have this example stuff so actually let's remove that. So go to your uh, game window class and in the constructor you can actually r r remove everything um, starting from player sprite rocket. Actually, you can remove everything, even like the render. So everything from render array and this comment also. And remove the render array. Okay, so let's actually begin by making like a proper layer. So actually, yeah, what we used to have for our rocket, so just uh, player sprite, player rocket. Okay. Then let's. Um. Yeah, and just just comment this out for a minute here. We might fix this later. And in your render also, just comment out those. Um, those four loops for the for the update and render method. Okay, so in your constructor, so yeah, so create your player rocket. So player rocket equals new new player sprite with the texture buffer ID and make vector 2d and do it, I don't know, do like the center so I divided by 2 and gel float um, 300 sounds decent okay then actually uh, go to your render method and do do players rocket pointer render oh arrow I'm not sure how it is called and render and in the update do the player rocket update so 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 if you run this again it yes I forgot the bonding box again huh damn it uh, so in your constructor, do players rocket uh, set bonding box and make bonding box. So the top will be the height, bottom will be zero, left will be zero, and right will be the width. So if we run this now, it works. Um, now let's actually rotate our rocket like 45 degrees so this is so it's completely vertical to do that let's actually in our sprite class so sprite.cp yeah so sprite.h create like um um a new private yeah new private variable and make this a float and actually make this a GL float. GL float underscore rotation. And then simply, I just copy and paste these two. Create uh, the setter and getter. So set. Rotation and this time will be a gel load. Rotation. Okay, and this will be get rotation. We don't actually need to get her. In our game, well, for now, at least you don't, but yeah. let's make one anyway. 
and let's implement them in your Sprite or CPP file. So Sprite Sprite and make this also a GL float. So yeah, so make the return value of the get rotation and GL float. Okay, and that's so it says rotation, so rotation so underscore rotation equals rotation and return no return underscore rotation. Okay. Now so the way this works is that there is actually a certain order of, of transformations. For instance, if we first rotate and then we uh, and then we uh, translate, it will actually oh I'll I'll show you. So type gl rotate and it should be F. So we want essentially in open uh, the gl like, like this F indicates that these are uh, yeah that these are floats and not doubles. So we want the F you know the double before. So angle will be our uh, the opposite actually of our so yeah, so well actually I'm you know, just do rotation, yeah. Rotation and we want to rotate on the um always on the z-axis. So zero zero and minus zero f for the z. And what's happens? Okay. So if we do it this way, and yeah, the first should set the rotation actually. So uh, go to your game window and uh, and do player player rocket set rotation and do like forty five. And now you see our rocket is rotated, but like. The movement is completely broken, and so yeah. So if you press up, it actually moves like to the like sideways almost. It's, yeah. So that's us. Yes, and now first of all, this should be minus forty-five. Now it's oh no, it's completely gone. Oh, that's okay. Well, um, yeah. So, so basically, um, go to your sprite CPP again. So, what's happening here is that when we uh, we tell the rocket to uh, to rotate, so no, so first we tell the rocket to rotate, and then we tell it uh, to to translate, so to move the position. So essentially, it's moving the position relative to the, the trans uh, to the rotation. So, so if we want, uh, so basically, what we want is to oops, so to to first translate and then to and then to rotate. So like this and run and now our, our rocket is is rotated. The, well, the way we want it, and it, and the movement is not broken. So now we first, so first we translate, and then we rotate. So that way, our uh, well, everything still works. Yes, and so in open shelter actually is like an, an order of a transformation. Uh, yeah, if you know some linear algebra, so essentially. This creates an identity matrix, and what that is, it's basically a matrix. So yeah, 
So a matrix is like a look, it's like a you can say a collection of different numbers. So and and these are all four by four matrices. So we create the identity matrix and that's basically like it has like one ones on the on this diagonal axis and zeros on all the others. So like this. And um, and yeah, if you multiply a matrix with the identity matrix, you'll get uh, you'll get actually the same so is yeah it's, you know like a normal algebra if you multiply something with one you'll get that number again so one by nine is not still nine yeah pretty simple stuff so the uh, the identity matrix is like one in near algebra so yeah and basically in normal algebra when we multiply it, 5 with 8 we get 40 but 8 by 5 we also still get 40 yeah. but in linear algebra when you multiply a matrix no, in other linear matrix the order actually matters so matrix A multiplied by matrix B does not equal matrix B multiplied by matrix A and that's why our um, the order we do our, our transformations matters because all of these actually create matrices for us. So yeah, okay, so hope that helped and see you guys next time, bye.